Hello everyone and welcome to this week's reviews. The new movie from Blue Sky Studios is here, and this time they've made a spy comedy in which the most famous secret agent in the world is transformed into... a pigeon? This is Spies in the Skies. With this movie, directors Troy Quain and Nick Bruno and the animators at Blue Sky have fun with playing on spy movie tropes while also crafting some impressive action sequences. There's definitely a heavy James Bond influence as we watch the missions that the main spy, Lance Sterling, takes part in, and they don't water down the violence and action, which took me by surprise. However, underneath the neat gadgets and fight choreography, there's also a message about the potential consequences of a license to kill. The pairing between Sterling and the inventor, Walter Beckett, was well played, as we see their contrasting philosophies. Their growing bond felt genuine, and the casting of Will Smith and Tom Holland was spot on. When Sterling turns into a pigeon, the filmmakers come up with all sorts of hilarious gags as he deals with the advantages and disadvantages of this unusual predicament. The additional pigeons the movie throws in are also really funny, especially as Sterling tries to deal with this flock of birds now watching his every move. The various gadgets used by Beckett also provide a lot of inspired moments throughout the movie. The supporting players in Spies in Disguise also help flesh out the world. I especially liked an internal affairs agent hot on their trail, voiced by Rashida Jones. Jones brings the right amount of deadpan reactions to the character, and you also understand her point of view. And if you ever wondered what a modern day update of Dr. Claw might look and act, Spies in Disguise has you covered. Like any Blue Sky film, there are also some strong themes that add a needed dimension beyond the gags and action scenes. I already mentioned the one about consequences, but the film also celebrates unorthodox scientific ideas and presents a pro-pacifist message. Overall, Spies in the Skies is just a really fun and entertaining ride, with memorable characters, winning humor, and cool spy action. Next up is the latest Disney Plus original movie, based on the 1925 serum run, and the dog who really deserves most of the credit. This is Togo. Watching Togo, it sort of reminded me of the kind of film Disney might have made in the 80s. The film embraces its rugged setting, as we watch Lennon Seppala, as played by Willem Dafoe, deal with the elements with his pack of sled dogs. However, the film does not just focus on the serum run. Peppered throughout the movie are flashbacks that show the relationship that eventually forms between Leonard and his top sled dog, Togo, and it's believably done. Defoe is very good, as is Julianne Nicholson, who plays his wife, Constance. I appreciate she's not merely written as just the wife character, as we see the important role she has on that farm, along with her own love for Togo, and how she communicates with local townspeople organizing the run. The film also gives some solid representation to the indigenous people living in Alaska. Director Erickson Cole, who also served as the cinematographer, does a good job of handling the sledding sequences, and the dogs are especially well trained. The dog playing Togo has a lot of personality, which came through on the screen. Some of you are probably hearing me mention a serum run in Alaska, and wondering if this story has anything to do with Balto. And you're correct, as Balto was also involved in this very event. And the film does not shy away from showing how he got a large amount of credit that should have gone to Togo. Anyway, I thought this was a decent film that did a good job of portraying this real-life event and the relationship between this brave dog and his owners. Togo is currently streaming on Disney+, Plus, so give it a look and let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching this week's reviews. And I'll see you next time.